The new Ethiopian Prime Minister, Dr. Abiy Ahmed, came to power at a time when much is expected from the government. I am joined here with Geta Choreda, former government communication affairs minister, who is now leading the Justice and Legal System Research Institute. Thanks for being with us, Mr. Geta Cho. You're welcome. We know that there is too much expectations from the new prime minister, but critics are saying that he might not be able to deliver much changes because the EPRD of culture does not give room for individual power. Do you think EPRDF itself will be a challenge for Dr. Abi? EPRDF, uh, I would say, is, is going to be much of help, not uh, a challenge to Dr. Abi's uh, position as a um, as an incoming Prime Minister. EPRDF believes in principles. EPRDF stands for, um, like I said, principles and uh, uh, clearly stated objectives. And one of the reasons why Abiy Ahmed stood out as the best candidate for the chairperson of EPRDF has nothing to do with his personality. It has everything to do with the fact that he uh, is an embody embodiment of the principles uh, and aspirations of not just the PRD, but also the aspirations of the Ethiopian people. So, as a chairperson, uh, the Prime Minister will lead the party through thick and thin and help uh, the party navigate through the challenge. Having said that, however, personality matters. Personality matters. Uh, uh, the Prime Minister, the new Prime Minister, uh, is also an, an enterprising leader and will uh, bring uh, all, all kinds of um, personalities, all kinds of uh, ideas on board. And uh, as the chairperson of EPRDF, he represents the party as a movement that tries to take advantage of every positive aspect of our public life. Okay, during his speech at the House of People's Representatives, Dr. Abi said that his government is ready to end the years of misunderstandings with the Eritrean government. However, the Ethiopian government has repeatedly accused the Eritrean government for causing security problems in Ethiopia and that even occurred during your stay in office. What's your take on that? Uh, my take on, th on that is there is no contradiction in what uh, the incoming Prime Minister had to say about Eritrea mm -hmm. and what the government's policy has been all, all the while. Of course, uh, personalities matter. Uh, the one of the first things the uh, outgoing Prime Minister did once he assumed the position of power was, uh, once he assumed for office was, uh, to call upon his Eritrean counterpart to 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 engage in dialogue because it's in the best interest of the the our two peoples the two sides of the border to come together and discuss issues but the problem has always been that um, the Eritrean government was not willing to um, to come to the fold so if prime minister Haile Mariam was more than willing to go to Asmara to initiate a dialogue what prime minister Abiy has said today is an extension of that readiness on the part of the Ethiopian government and the people of Ethiopia to engage in dialogue with our brothers the other side of the Merab. So one thing I can, uh, I can say at this point as, as part of the leadership is <coughs> that <coughs> uh, Prime Minister Abi is simply articulating the aspirations of the Ethiopian people to, to engage with their brothers the other side of uh, the border and to do whatever is necessary to put an end to the uh, animosity and uh, uh, mutual mistrust between our two peoples. Okay, my final question. <coughs> what particular things did you love about Dr. Abi's speech today? It was incredible. <coughs> well, um, uh, Prime Minister Abi uh, has touched upon a number of issues and uh, the most important element of his speech as far as I'm concerned was that he was more than willing to reach out to all people 
Ethiopian to all things Ethiopian and do whatever it takes to make sure that Ethiopians come to the fold. But more importantly, I would say equally importantly, if not more importantly, he wants to continue on the successful development endeavors this government has embarked upon by at the same time addressing the, the shortfalls that we have, we have uh, faced all along. Okay, that, so I would tell you, is a mark of leadership. Any particular things about his speech that you admired? Well, I'm his colleague, so it's not about his speech that I'm going to tell you. That one thing I can tell you is he's committed to... His to, commitments. To his, his commitments to changing uh, Ethiopia and change it for the better. That my hope and my expectation is go going to be for real, and that the entire EPRF leadership is throwing its full weight behind Prime Minister Abiy in his endeavors to change uh, Ethiopia for the better. All right, thank you very much, Gita Chareda. My pleasure. Appreciate it. My pleasure.